What's happening guys? Casper here with the 101 how to make your meat taste good. Does that sound bad? Boom! So you want to know how to make your meat taste good. <laughs> I know that sounds really, really strange, but anyway, this is what I'm all about. So guys, today's video is about how to make your meat succulent, not dry, alright, taste good without adding extra sauces, calories to blow your health and your calories out the window, okay? This is what I do with my members day in, day out, teaching you guys how to make food that you love to eat on affordable budgets, but so it's healthy for you and so you don't store it as fat, okay? Now in front of me I've got a whole lot of tasty little uh, seasonings and different little tricks that I'm going to teach you, and today I've got a nice piece of fat, essential fat, salmon, okay? Salmon, really really good for obviously high in protein and good for giving you the omega-3 oils, okay? Which is going to help your brain. Function, it's gonna help you with repairing and growing. Salmon is a great source of protein. I generally eat it maybe once or twice a week because it is kind of high in fats and I like to just get a whole um, day of uh, essential fats in. But anyway, let's go through some ways of how I can season it up and make it taste amazing and succulent, okay? So generally, when I cook my salmon, I will season it up, okay? So I've got some, a couple of different ones here. I'm gonna come around and show you real quick. Alright guys, so as you can see, I've got different styles of seasoning. I like to use Master Foods, a little bit expensive, you can get a budget of one as well, which I think is Greg's, like this one here, okay, paprika, amazing for seasoning up your meats, okay, and we also have garlic, you guys can't go wrong with a little bit of garlic, okay, um, or if you just don't know what to choose, good old purpose. We'll get you going, all right, mate? We'll get you going good. All right, guys, so you want to kind of keep your focus on um, watching out on sodium levels as well, especially if you've got issues around your sodium intake. Um, now, these are reasonably low, all right? You're not smashing salt all the time. As long as you're not using that hearty salt that we always see on Aotearoa or Australian tables, with the one with the little blue man in the white container. Yeah, you want to just keep it chill. If you want to be using salt on your meats, use pink salt or Himalayan salts, all right? It's got like over, I think around 90 different types of good minerals in it for you. Especially if you mix it with a little bit of manuka honey, whew, you've got your daily intake of uh, minerals that you need uh, with those two combined, okay? So, I would generally just use one of these, I'm not going to use all of them, okay? And then we have, obviously, soya sauce and chili sauce. Now the soya sauce I use Kikimon's less salt, which is very low in sodium, and I use a chili sauce which practically has no calories in it, alright? You don't have to use this if you don't like hot, but there's also chili sauces out there that are more lemony rather than spicy, and this is the one that I'm using here. So what I'm going to do right now in front of you guys is I'm going to spice up my salmon, alright? It's real simple. Boom, a little bit of garlic, I'm going to go with a little bit of garlic today, and a little bit of Himalayan salt, alright? Because I want to get those minerals in. Okay, boom. Then, I'm going to get a little bit of manuka honey. Now, this is perfect for obviously the fish and the salmon types of meats, okay? If I was doing chicken or beef, I'd probably go with like a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of all-purpose, or even the old garlic steak for a good old steak. Anyway, we've got some good old manuka honey. I use local uh, manuka honey from the manuka village, and it's called MGO. 300 plus. I'll put it in the um, description down below so you guys can get 20% off if you use my code. These guys are amazing. It tastes good. Bloody healthy for you. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck. I used the wrong bloody utensils. 
some honey, okay? We're gonna put some honey on the salmon. Just a light glaze over the top. Yes, we're putting it over the top of the, the salts and the spices. The reason why we're doing this is so it doesn't burn uh, when you go to cook. All right? Boom. Bob's your bloody uncle right there. How easy was that? It took me like 30 seconds to spice it up. Now what you could do is put it in the fridge for around about 20 minutes before you cook. I just get straight into it and it tastes effing good every single time. Okay? The next thing I would do is when I'm cooking it, alright, we'll use a pan. Now guys, stop using oils for your bloody cooking, okay? You want to be using some rice spray, alright? This is what I use. Good old rice spray. Cheap as chips, saves your calories, doesn't block up your arteries and your heart as much as oil does, and it's about living longer and living happier, okay? Spray that, boom. Chuck that on the, th uh, on the, on the stove or on the, on the whatever you've got going in your house, all right? You're gonna get that pan nice and hot, okay? So it's going, you're gonna chuck that on, Stir it, okay, you cook it to the way that you like your salmon or your meat, all right, and then boom. What I do is when I chuck the salmon actually in the pan, I get a bit of soya sauce, and I just sprinkle, splash a little bit of soya sauce over the salmon. It just brings the flavor out and it makes, it just gel well together and it gives it a good color, so you know you get that good Instagram photo shot that you wanna post up on your Instas and go, check cuz, check out the salmon, bro. Casper taught us. Anyway, so that's it. Simple. Boom, then you probably serve it with a little bit of salad, or some greens, or even some rice. One of my good meals that I do is a little bit of rice, some feta on top of the rice, on Uncle Brown's right, uh, uh, quick five minute rice. Boom, slam the salmon on top, cut it into little pieces, a little bit of feta. Man, you have your farm though, dribbling at the, the old chops. And uh, boom, then what I'll do is, before I prepare it, or before I serve it to the, to the customers, or the, or the, the farm owner, a little bit of the old chili sauce on top. That's it. Simple, easy, every time it makes your meat succulent, it tastes bloody amazing, and you're gonna love it. Remember guys, you can do it with chicken, steak, lamb, even with your mints. If you're gonna use mints, don't go prime. Always go premium. Premium mints is a little bit more expensive, but it's lower in fat, and it actually tastes better, and that's good for you as well. All right guys, so get that into you. Make sure to share this. If you don't share this, support the Kazi. Click that uh, like button down below and maybe even the subscribe button if you thought this was awesome after you tried the meal. Anyway guys, heaps more coming my uh, coming your way, not my way. <laughs> heaps more coming your way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, boom, kia ora. Into dust. Into dust.